If you found the book of Ecclesiastes to be a book that's hard to read, a book that's filled with difficult truths, well, the reason why is explained in this final chapter. The writer refers to himself as the teacher, and this is how he explains the purpose of this book in verse 10. The teacher sought to find just the right words to express truths clearly. The words of the wise are like cattle prods, painful but helpful. In other words, it's supposed to force us to face the realities we don't necessarily want to think about. So we will live each minute to our fullest eternal potential. In chapter 12, the teacher spends the first half warning us not to wait until we are old to honor or remember God. That's a harsh reality of the fragility and shortness of life, but it's more importantly a challenge to give God our best, our whole lives from beginning to end. God is worthy of more than the leftovers of our life. He's worthy of every day, every thought, every breath, every song. The teacher makes it clear that we will give an account for how we live today. And he sums it all up with just two sentences. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil.